we cannot talk about props without mentioning components. And earlier on in the previous lectures, we learned that component enables you to split the user interfaces into independent and reusable segments. So right now, I want you to think about each segment in isolation. The question is, if components are separated from each other, how do we pass information from component A to component B? Here exactly is where probes comes in. So, what exactly is probes? Props stands for properties. It is an object that stores the value of an attribute of a tag. And also, props enables you to pass data from one component to another. Precisely from a parent component to a child component. Take note of this key point. Props are immutable which simply implies its value cannot be changed. Haven't understood all this? Head on to VS Code and let's practicalize it quickly. Let's quickly get rid of the H1 tag. Proceed to the app component. And over here, I just have to change the class name to app simply because I want to make use of the default CSS file. Another important point that I want you to take note of is that props can be passed to a component via JSS attributes. Take for example, we want to pass data from app component down into the demo component. So, to do that, first, we have to specify the attribute. So let's assume we want to pass a name props. So here the attribute is going to be name, assign it a value, daisy. So this is the attribute, here is the value. And all of this put together is referred to as props. Okay, so having done this, we have succeeded in passing props into the demo component. But when you check out the browser, Nothing happens. So you cannot see anything on the browser. You know why? It is simply because we also have to receive the props right in the demo component. Back to VS Code, demo component. To receive the props is very simple. All we have to do is to take in props as an argument right within the function. So I'm going to do props you can decide to change the name of the props to something else. But I highly suggest you stick with the convention props. Because that is the convention that is widely used among developers. So having done this, we have succeeded in receiving the props right here in the demo component. Let me show you. So this props right here will be stored inside the props object. Let me prove it to you. Come here, and then we are going to console log props. So we want to see the value that is stored inside this props object. Head on to the browser. Let's quickly inspect the console. Alt command I to open up the console. When you inspect the console, you will see an object. So let's quickly open up the object. Right here, we have in the object an attribute name with the value daisy. So, technically, we have received the props down into the demo component. So, the next in line is to access the props value and have it displayed on the browser. So, if we want to access the value of a props, we just have to target the attribute and then the value would be displayed. Head on to VS Code and let's do that quickly. So right here, I'm going to specify a H1 tag because I want to do it right within the H1 tag. So ordinarily, 
I'm going to do props.name. On the browser, you are going to see props.name simply because it has been treated as test. So for this to work, here we have to take in the curly bracket and then highlight, command X to cut, paste it here. So when you wrap it up in a curly bracket, the JSS parser will be able to recognize it as JavaScript expressions instead of a test. Save on the browser. Here we have Daisy. All right, so let's quickly head on to VS Code and add more attributes to the component. Head on to the app component. And here we have the props as name. Now we are going to have another props as country, assign it a value, Brazil. Save on the browser you will definitely see Daisy on the screen. But when you inspect the console, you are going to see the name Daisy and the country Brazil. So let's quickly have it displayed on the browser. Back to VS Code, demo component. And then here I'm going to do props.country. Save on the browser. And we got here Brazil. All right, so let's make this more meaningful. Come here, right within the hedron tag, I'm gonna do I am props.name from props.country. Save on the browser, I am Daisy from Brazil. How beautiful is this? All right, so let's continue. Back here, now we have successfully passed props from a parent component down into the child component. So to recap, when dealing with props, three steps are involved. Step one is to send the props through JSS attribute into the child component. And step two is to receive the props right within the parameter of a function. Okay, and after that, we have to display it on the browser. It's as simple as that. Okay, so now I want you to recall that components are reusable. Quickly head on to the app.js and let me teach you how to reuse this component. So to reuse this component, I'm just going to highlight and then duplicate it as many times as I like. On the browser, take a look. Now we have reused this component with props. This is one of the beauty of React that makes my head spin. So another important point is that reusable components can be reused with different properties to display different informations. Head on to VS Code and let's do that quickly. VS Code. And here, this attribute is also referred to as the property. So I want to change the value of the attribute. Here, I'm going to do... Michael and Michael is from USA. Change the attribute here, Sahil. And Sahil is from India. And lastly, we are going to have myself, Edubaba. And Edubaba is from UK. On the browser, can you see that? So here we have Daisy from Brazil. Michael from USA. Sahil from India, and lastly, a Dubaba from UK. So this exemplifies how reusable components works with probes. This is all for now. See you in the next lecture. Stay focused and always take care.